Are short-term rentals more or less work than long-term rentals, and what's the best way? Well, we have a lot of both, and so what I wanna tell you is, I know this, long-term rentals don't require nearly as much work as a short-term rental. However, short-term rentals will produce sometimes five to 10 times the income that a long-term rental can produce. So my question is, what do you want? What do you want to come in? Do you want more cash flow along with wealth or do you just wanna have your rental portfolio run on its own and really not have to worry about it at all? And you'll do that through long-term rentals. So what kind of work is involved with a short-term rental? Well, number one, you have to get that short-term rental set up when you first start. A normal rental, you get it up and cleaned and ready to go and you put it in the market and they, when the tenant moves in, they furnish it, they turn the power on in their name, they put the internet on in their name, they have to bring their own utility, their own uh, appliances and everything else, right? So that's how, that's how it works. However, when it comes to a short-term rental, people that come to a short-term rental, are they come there and they expect more of a hotel service. They expect to have all the utensils they need, all little, little tiny, they have the appliances, but little tiny appliances on there, like the coffee maker might maybe, or maybe the wine opener or whatever it might be. They expect all those things in a house. So you're gonna have to put more money into that to get it up and going. And so, um, once you get that up and running, you have, to have, you have to pay for the power, you have to pay for the um, internet service as well. So that's all part of it with a short-term rental. So there is more work once you get a tenant in there because a tenant that goes for a long-term rental really goes over to a property management company and they usually stay for a year, two years, three years, whatever the number is, and that tenant, you know, they pay their rent every month and you let a property management company handle anything that comes in. A short-term rental. Well, there are guests checking in and out of your property all month long. So you can imagine with more people come more problems. So as people are checking in, they're gonna forget the code. They have to be reminded, maybe the lock doesn't work. Maybe it's cold middle of winter and something's not working on the Wi-Fi lock. Maybe when the cleaner came in, they forgot to do a certain room or um, they forgot to put a sheet on a bed. You know, those things happen because it's a constant turnover of people, just like a hotel. Think about when you travel to a hotel. Think about what happens when you walk into a room, right? There's a lot of things that happen inside of a hotel and you become that person as a short-term rental owner. So there are a lot more things, a lot more work that goes on. You're gonna to have to maintain um, uh, the relationship with them throughout. They may ask you simple questions like, hey, where do I find this? Where do I find that? Because a short-term traveler is new in town many times and they don't know where things are. They may call and say, hey, listen, where are the, well, where's the extra toilet paper, right? Where's the shampoo? Where's the, whatever you may have in the house, they may, they may uh, require a little more TLC and you wanna take care of them because they're giving you a public review and you wanna have great reviews to be in the short-term rental game. So yes, there's more work as a short-term rental owner, but there's tremendously more income that comes in from a short-term rental than a long-term rental. So you have to decide what works best in your portfolio and then proceed accordingly. If you want help with short-term rentals, by all means, reach out, let us know. More than happy to try and help you. <laughs>